How's it going guys and girls? So I'm here about to react to Inside Xbox and hopefully we're going to get some gameplay reveal for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So let's, let's watch this shall we? I'm really excited right now. I'm loving this new idea that Microsoft have got for uh, monthly digital events. I think it's a fab idea. Really, really support it. Great, great idea. Let's see what we've got to show, shall we? Alright guys, it's time for the gameplay reveal of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Okay, this is going to be like a gameplay trailer. Oh, this is cool. It does look good. It's still cinematic right now. Massive, yes. Oh, yes. We're attacking like fortifications. We're going to take on like York and different cities. Oh, my God. Oh, please tell me that wasn't only it. That was really short. Please tell me you're going to show something a bit longer. Oh, come off of it. Titles command the respect and fandom that the Assassin's Creed series has garnered. And today, we get to talk about Assassin's Creed Valhalla with its creative director, Ashraf Is. Oh, right. Joining us from Montreal, this is going to be longer. Okay, that's good. Please show us some gameplay. Hey, Jeff. Pleasure to be here. I'm so glad that you're here because I'm a huge fan of the series. After seeing the video that we just saw, I have literally hundreds of questions to ask you. But before we get into Valhalla itself, did I just see new Assassin's Creed gameplay for the first time? Yeah, absolutely. That was uh, directly from the game uh, in all its Viking Age glory. Let's talk about the Viking Age because Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Assassin's Creed Origins, these took place in antiquity. They were sun-drenched Mediterranean places. And this looks very different. It's a different time, different place. So what do you have for us with the Viking Age? Yeah, so the, the Viking Age, it's named after one of history's most notorious warrior cultures. Uh, and this time period uh, is highlighted by the invasion of England by this very large, hungry Viking horde. And at the time, England was a dark age tangle of broken warring kingdoms. So this was an absolutely brutal, pivotal moment in history that gave us the birth of the England we know today. So players can expect uh, to fully live the Viking fantasy in a meticulously crafted journey in an Assassin's Creed world. All right, so let's let's get a little bit more into this. There was a lot to take in in that clip that we saw. I saw Viking longships. I saw some very mean looking axes. Uh, previously, we saw a hidden blade. So let's talk about some of the key new features that you're bringing to the table with Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Yeah, so our, our hero, Eivor, is a Viking raider who's going to leave the snowy mountains of Norway for the lush I'm wondering if the longboats are going to be like a cutscene, uh, if we're going to actually be able to control that. Their people and That's what I want to know. A thriving settlement. Now, England at this time is a hostile place. So uh, to succeed, players will go raiding uh, using their longships and raiding party. They'll assault giant fortifications and epic battles they'll have to gain alliances with kings and legendary Vikings, and they'll be faced with some very harsh choices as the leader of a community. Uh, along with that, where we've reinvented combat to be uh, visceral, brutal, uh, tons of enemy variety, dual wielding weapons. Uh, we have a new fresh take on uh, player progression, gear and weapon systems. We're effectively pushing every single envelope to deliver this incredible Viking fantasy. All of this is, is just music to my ears. Thank you so much. Uh, so this whole show, we've been talking about the Xbox Series X. We're talking about next gen. So as a creative director, as someone creating a huge epic game, how do you take advantage of this new hardware? 
Well, uh, Assassin's Creed has always been committed to new technologies in order to push the most immersive experiences we possibly can. And so to have something like incredibly fast loading times means that we can remove some of that friction from the immersion and create a game that's much more immersive. Norway and Dark Ages England are breathtaking living worlds. Mm. So to be able to push them further to their incredible potential, this is really wonderful for us. It's, it's wonderful for our players. And additionally, uh, I'm very happy to confirm that we are also offering smart delivery, which allows you to purchase the game once and play it on your Xbox One and the Xbox Series X. That is great news, I think, for all the Assassin's fans out there. They'll be able to enjoy it on the hardware they have now, maybe on the hardware that they are looking forward to getting later this year. Thank you so much, Ashraf Ismail, for joining us and for sharing the very first details on Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I cannot wait to see more. Absolutely, it's my pleasure. It does look good. I can't wait for this. I was kind of hoping to see more gameplay though, like like they did with Odyssey where they showed like a pretty good gameplay segment. Maybe we'll get that at, at in June or July maybe. Yeah, Ubisoft maybe themselves are maybe holding it for themselves to reveal. I think maybe that's what they're doing. <laughs> 